my very last area, I had been a zone leader for about a year, but I had never trained a missionary before. And for my last three months, uh, President Cook assigned me to train a new missionary. I was terrified because I knew, I mean, trainers do not get enough credit for what they do. And um, I knew that that was the most difficult assignment to receive. Everyone looks at, you know, zone leaders and assistants like they're like they're, those are the biggest things, the most important position to have. And granted, you influence a lot of people on a mass scale, but I don't think that's nearly I don't think either of those assignments are nearly as as daunting as being a trainer. So I received my assignment to be a trainer. Not only was I training, I was whitewashing into a new area, an area that uh, was a YSA ward, actually. Um, which was a new thing that the mission was doing. Uh, before that, I think this was maybe the third ward they had done that with ever, having missionaries devoted entirely to a YSA ward. Usually they'd have missionaries assigned to a family ward that also worked the YSA ward on the side. But because of the influx of new missionaries as a result of the age change, um, we needed to start splitting up new areas, and part of that was um, giving YSA wards their own, their own companionship. We went to the Vista YSA ward, which covered Vista, Fallbrook, and, Ocean, and part of Oceanside. And my new companion, it was very rough for him. And he did the same thing I did when I, uh, got the, when I was interviewed by President Cook. I remember he, when he was asked uh, what kind of, I guess maybe some, I don't know, I wasn't there in the interview, but something along the lines of what kind of companion he wanted or what, kind of, what he needed. He mentioned he, needed, he wanted a, a tough companion who was going to push him and make him work hard. I had that reputation um, in the mission of of always working very hard. So that was he, so he was assigned to me, and um, he had a tough time wanting to be a missionary. Um, he had come out onto the mission with the the thought that he was only going to be there for a couple of weeks, and then he was going to go home. Um, that was kind of his plan, his intent coming out, which is very, it's very difficult to be a trainer for that, for that mentality. I was really trying to help him out to understand why it was important for him to stay and, um, see the value in it. It was made more difficult because in a YSA ward, um, well, in a family ward, you can get a lot of support because you have a lot of, you know, a lot of established families. Definitely makes it a little more difficult when, uh, when it's a YSA ward, because in a family ward, you, you have this, these established families and households where, especially in that mission, you pretty much get fed every night. And you'd be surprised how much, how helpful that can be to um, the, the motivation of a missionary to, or the um, emotional health of a missionary to, to have that, that in their life. In the YSA ward, it's definitely not that way um, because, I mean, obviously nobody has a family. In the YSA ward outside of the bishopric, and uh, the financial position of you know y of young single adults is very different from from that of established families too to be able to feed missionaries. So it was it was difficult for him to go from living with his family to uh, living on his own. He experienced a lot of a lot of depression, and you know I was trying to help him, but uh, I, I wasn't doing the best job, and. It was really tough because I was really blaming myself um, for why he didn't want to necessarily keep rules or why he didn't necessarily want to want to work harder or even stay in the mission. I found myself on a phone call with our with President Cook, our mission president, almost every other night, like on a very regular basis, more than most missionaries outside of the, maybe the assistants talk to the mission president. Um, just trying to figure out what I needed to do to, to help him to kind of fix uh, the situation. Ultimately, he did decide to go home. He stayed on the mission for about seven weeks, and then he went home. And that was that was tough. It was very difficult. Um, it was almost like the moment that it was a finalized decision and the plane ticket was purchased, he started regretting the decision. Um, almost like uh, Satan had done the job, and um, now he was gone. Didn't need to be there anymore. He started to regret the decision, but he he um, he went through with it. He was the only missionary I ever trained because um, when he left, that was my last transfer in the mission. 
so that was that was you know it was very difficult for me um, to to see that happen because I remember when I was a new missionary, I wasn't so different from him. He actually reminded me of myself a lot, and I would try to help him to understand that, but uh trying to tell someone that they were just like you. Like, it's kind of like a parent where it was like, oh, I was just like you when I was your age type thing. Like, you, you can say that, but no one ever believes that. So trying to help him to understand that he was where I, where I used to be when I started. I, I was in the same boat with the same um, insecurities, same fears, um, same emotional state. It was, it was tough to get him to understand that that really was the case. That was, that was really tough. But the uh, lesson I take from that is that you really, you can help people all you want, but all you, you can try to help people as much as you can. But in the end, people have to make their own decision. Is it possible that I could have treated the situation in differently and had a different result? I guess, sure, it's possible. But I think that's where the atonement comes into play, is that all of us are basically just guessing on how to deal with different situations, especially situations we've never been in before. We're guessing. And all those guesses result in imperfections and, and mistakes. So in the end, for Christ to justify our efforts, and we do our best. And everyone's going to make their own choice. So... That's really how I came to terms with, with, with his decision to leave his mission um, after seven weeks. But yeah, that, that may be the most difficult thing I experienced on the mission was, was that sometimes I wish I had a chance to extend my mission and um, maybe train another missionary. I kind of make up for it, but uh, I tried. It didn't happen. It's pretty tough to extend, especially when the mission president's leaving the same week you are. That's a tough thing to make happen. Yeah.